How dare they do that, actually? Uh-oh, Robert De Niro isn't happy, and it's got nothing to do with the blueberry muffins. From now on, I want you to put an equal amount of blueberries in each muffin. What a great film. All right, jump cut to De Niro's latest work with Scorsese, Killers of the Flower Moon, and at the Gotham Awards, De Niro was presenting the movie with a tribute when he claimed that part of his introduction was cut out without notice. So he pulled out his phone and added it back in. History isn't history anymore. Truth is not truth. Even facts are being replaced by alternative facts. In Florida, young students are taught that slaves develop skills which could be applied for their personal benefit. The entertainment industry isn't immune to this festering disease. The Duke John Wayne famously said of Native Americans, I don't feel we did wrong in taking this great country away from them. There were great numbers of people who needed new land, and the Indians were selfishly trying to keep it for themselves. Lying has become just another tool in the charlatan's arsenal. The former president lied to us more than 30,000 times during his four years in office. And he's keeping up the pace in his current campaign of retribution. But with all his lies, he can't hide his soul. He attacks the weak, destroys the gifts of nature, and shows disrespect, for example, by using Pocahontas as a slur.